Greetings in the name of Christ. It's Wednesday. Uh, let's see, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 5th of May. And I'm very excited to start this book. Stephen Charleston is um, a leading voice of justice for indigenous peoples, the environment, and spiritual renewal in North America. He uh, served as the Episcopal Bishop of Alaska. Uh, Dean of the Episcopal Divinity School and Professor at Luther Seminary. He lives in Oklahoma with his wife Susan and his words through his blog and on Facebook have reached many, many people. This is called Ladder to the Light and Indigenous Elders Meditations on Hope and Courage. Uh, one of the person who reviewed the persons who reviewed the book was Barbara Brown Taylor, who's this wonderful preacher of our time. She says, this book touched me as few do, which I take as proof that the author is in cahoots with the spirit. Stephen Charleston is a spiritual medic who has given, given himself to a life of healing, and you will want to share his medicine with everyone you know. So uh, we are going to start this today, the introduction and he's talking in this introduction about a kiva, K-I-V-A, and this is a picture of a kiva. You can see here's where you come in and come down the ladder. And the different chapters in this book are, are uh, ladder rungs. So you go down and in these kivas that are built, were built in Pueblos. And uh, perhaps you've visited one in your, li in your life. I have it at one point way back. Um, but that's only only light and I think it I think uh, I liken it to going down and in into this sacred space where we connect with God let's see what Stephen Charleston has to say the vision of the Kiva if you have ever traveled among the Native American nations of the Southwest you are probably familiar with the Kiva the kiva is a square or circular underground chamber covered by a roof of wooden beams with an opening in the center. You enter a kiva the same way you enter a submarine, by descending the ladder. Once inside the packed earth chamber of the kiva, you are in darkness. Without a fire in the kiva, the only light comes from above you. To reach it, you have to ascend the ladder. The kiva is a sacred place. It serves the same function as a cathedral, as a place of worship. Yet while a cathedral's soaring arches or a mosque's great domes are designed to point us upward, the kiva is intended to point us downward. The spiritual focal point is not above us, but below. We are not to look up, but down. What we seek is not in the sky, but in the earth. This dramatic shift in our spiritual orientation is important. The Kiva points us in a new direction, not an escape from this world, but an entering into it. The Kiva is a womb. It is a place of origins. It is where, according to my ancestors' teachings, life first began. As the tribe of the human beings, we began our existence in the womb of the earth, beneath the surface in a place of darkness. Through many different incarnations of life on this planet, we finally emerged into the light. We climbed the ladder not to heaven, but to home. We came out exactly where we were supposed to be, in this reality, surrounded by all the other life forms of creation. We emerged ready to begin our migrations across the globe, discovering more light wherever we go. The spiritual resilience of North America's indigenous peoples is legendary. Our traditional religious practices were banned. Our sacred objects, objects were taken from us and either destroyed or put in museums as a curiosity for our conquerors. Our families were scattered into diaspora even our languages were forbidden. But we are still here. Our voice is still strong. Our vision is unimpaired. 
Native America knows something about resisting darkness. It is what we have been doing for more than 500 years. The kiva symbolizes the spiritual resist resilience. It reminds us that we began in darkness, not the stark, ominous darkness we imagine we face today, but the nurturing darkness of the womb, a place of formation and growth. Over time, through the grace of the Spirit, we learned more, understood more, until we matured and were ready to take our place in the bright world of reality. We emerged from Mother Earth. At first we were weak and They should have been confident.
each rung of the and the glory forever. Amen. I look forward to tuning in with you tomorrow.